Hey everyone, I've got something really exciting I want to share with you today. Now I could do this in a very short video, but I'm going to do I'm going to do an extended version, okay? The the short version would be why you should invest at least $50 in piggy bank. Um, I'm going to also show you how to do that. So the first the first I could do this really quickly just with a calculator and show you this is I think this is mind-blowing, okay? Um I'm just going to dive straight in and I've got I prepared a few slides but that's all I've done the rest of it I'm going to do live as it were um, so let's just have a look through the slides if I can get it to move to the next slide okay uh, that why you should invest at least $50 in piggy bank and time lock your stake or better still create multiple time locked stakes so that's the extended title if you like we're going to look at the 149,000% bonus that you'll get if you lock your stake for three years, 156 weeks. That's the maximum you can lock a stake in piggy bank. And I'm going to go through these steps in sequence when it's appropriate. So first thing we're going to, going to do, we're going to do is head over to Firefox. Um, I'm just going to jump out of this presentation. All right, so. Um, Firefox. What I want to show you very briefly is this is how I, I do I manage my MetaMask wallets now. In case you haven't seen me do this before, I'll run through it very briefly here. Um, so rather than just do everything in a single wallet, what I now do is I open up this page in Firefox. You just literally type about, I'll do it about colon profiles and you get a page like this which initially won't have much on it and you can create a new profile so I'm just going to do that now create a new profile I'm going to call it piggy bank demo and that should now appear at the bottom of my list of profiles so you, to start with you just have one which will be your default and then you create one and then what you can do is launch that profile from here in a new browser watch what happens see down at the bottom there I've got a new Firefox window it's a brand new it's like a virgin Firefox installation it doesn't have any extensions installed yet so the first thing I need to do is install the MetaMask extension um, now I think for simplicity just so that this isn't really boring video or hopefully isn't boring um, I might just skip over this I'm going to go search for MetaMask. There it is. Add to Firefox. It's just doing its thing. Add. All right, there we go. It's appeared at the top here. And in order to be able to use this for Animal Farm or Drip or whatever I want to do, it's they're all on the uh, Binance Smart Chain. I need to configure, oops, um, oh, I need to get started, right, I have to create a new, well, I'll show you what happens. I can either import or create a new wallet. Well, it just says create a wallet. I don't want to import an existing one now, I want to create a brand new one. And the process for that is I have to set a password and then I have to go through the 12 word phrase stuff. I'm going to pause this recording now. And I'm back. I paused it while I went through the 12 word security stuff to create the wallet. I've written down my 12, 12 words and I'm all done. So as I was saying before, I need to switch this over to Binance Smart Chain. So I go to add a network and I'm just going to fill this out very quickly. I'll pause the video again just to save this being too boring. I'll be right back. I'm back. I didn't actually do anything while I was away there. I just realized that it, it's probably helpful for me to show you how this, for anyone who hasn't seen this or isn't familiar with it, um, you literally just have to type in uh, add Binance Smart Chain to MetaMask. That's what we're looking for. It's the first, when you do that search, 
it should auto fill it for you auto complete it sorry and it should just be the first result that you need and then you scroll down and there's a helpful heading which says this is what you're probably looking for there it is and these are the details that we need smart chain um, blah 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 okay I'm gonna pause now and then just to save a bit of time okay I'll be right back I'm back and I filled out this form with all the data from this page so this is when I save this this will switch there we you can always see that switched me over to the Binance Smart Chain network and I've got zero BNB in here now I totally haven't thought this through because I need to get my funds over to this um, this new account so just gonna pause a minute while I have a think I'm back so what I decided to do while I was away there for a few minutes was move fifty dollars worth of BUSD from my main account over to this Firefox um, new install that I've created new MetaMask account that I've created so I've sent the 50 BUSD over but it won't show up in here until I add the token until I import the token so oh, that's the, the one I've sent it from so I can close that one now now this is where it's going to so I, I just did a Google search for the BUSD contract address and it's that one there so I copy that go back to MetaMask import tokens paste that contract address it fills out BUSD correct and the token decimal I'm not sure what that's for actually add custom token there we go so there we go 50 BUSD is now in that MetaMask account which I just sent from my other MetaMask account um, right what's next next is hmm I think I'll go back to my slides one create a new MetaMask account ideally with a separate face uh, Firefox profile step two switch MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain I've done that step three go to animalfarm.app okay oops just copy that being so lazy there copy that back to here so we're done with all of these tabs now we'll go open a new tab and go to animalfarm.app and connect the wallet it's a metamask Now the thing I wanted to show you was I mentioned I said I could do this very quickly at the beginning of the video and I f forgot. It's this um, this crazy bonus if you time lock for three years. I'm just going to jump ahead and show you that, and then I'll go through the steps to create the to create it. So um, if you set the the lock duration to the maximum 156 weeks, that's three years look at that time lock bonus I just copy that because there's so many digits there and I'll show you this with a calculator so if I put 50 books investment in today and add that much percent bonus watch watch this this is crazy that's in theory what my $50 stake will be worth in three years nearly $75,000 I don't think I've done anything wrong with the math there I'm pretty sure that's right and that's only part of it because I'm going to be compounding on a daily basis there's going to be gas fees over the three years admittedly that's going to add up I'll find out what the gas fee is um, later later on we'll we'll look at that together um, it's just a few cents but obviously you're doing it 365 times a year it adds up but it's only going to come to I don't know maximum a couple of hundred dollars and we're looking at potentially uh, 
I would imagine with the, the daily compounding, the 3%-ish, ish, now it's not fixed 3%, and this is a high-risk investment, but let's be optimistic. We could be looking at a, a significant, maybe $100,000 value investment in three years' time. Depends what happens with the price of the pigs tokens. I'll go into more of that detail later or in a separate video. That's just what I wanted to show you. That time lock bonus is insane. Um, and that's why I think everyone should create a $50 piggy bank piggy bank stake right now let's go through the process this is what you have to do to create this you're gonna have to go to um, first of all swap I've got some BUSD as you saw I'm gonna swap half of that to pigs because we're gonna be creating pig BUSD LP tokens liquidity pool tokens um, when I say pig, what I mean is AFP. It's the new version of the pig token, Animal Farm Pig. So just watch this, $50. Um, if I hit max, it should load up 50 there. Right, just checking. Just checking. I'm going to change that back to 25. So I'll get 0.384 blah, blah, blah of a pig, okay? I don't have any BNB, of course. Just one moment, I'll go and get some. I'm back. So what I was doing behind the scenes there was I sent some BNB from my main MetaMask account to this new one. Let's see if it's arrived yet. Ah, oh, there we go. That's all I sent is just a tiny little fragment. Hopefully that's enough to do everything that we want to do in this demo. So now then, I'm going to swap 25 BUSD. You need to start with BUSD unless you go down the pancake route, uh, pancake swap route. But let's try and do it all on the Animal Farm website today for simplicity, okay? You wanna have some BUSD in your wallet. How you get that there is, there's various different ways that you can do it. We can talk about that separately. I'm gonna convert it to pigs. not sure what I need to set the slippage to. I'm going to leave it at 1% and see what happens. Once this is finished, we can try a swap. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Gas fee. Something's working there. Swap successful. Okay, let's see what we've got now. If I go now to add liquidity, hopefully we'll see that I've got some... My pig's balance. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Remember, this started out completely fresh wallet. Uh, just with... Then I moved 50 BUSD into it. I've converted half of them into pigs, and I've still got half as BUSD and now we can make the pair the LP token pair um, what I'll do is I'll just put the m maximum in this one the 25 and it auto fills the pig amount so it's it's only 0.38 of a pig but the value is the same as this side of the LP token each part of the LP token has to have the same value, not the same quantity, but the same value. I need to approve that, and then I can create, hopefully, hmm, I have to approve the BUSD as well. You can tell it's a while since I went through this process. In fact, when I first did it, I had to do it all on pancake swap. I couldn't, this functionality wasn't part of the animal farm originally right now the add liquidity button has appeared it looks like I can just hit that and see what happens yep so it's going to pair up see pigs BUSD 0.38 of a pig with 25 BUSD 
Let's see if this works. Duh. What does that mean? Transfer amount exceeds allowance. Ah, uh, because I haven't approved the BUSD here. Maybe. Hmm. Learning as we go. Hopefully to save you some confusion and obstacles when you go through this process. Uh, the slippage has changed automatically there to 10%. So I'm going to leave it on that. That must be what's required. And we'll try this add liquidity again. Same deal as before. Near enough. 0.38 of a pig, 25 BUSD. Right, let's go. No, transfer amount exceeds balance. I don't think so. Maybe I need to, um, I'm just gonna hit the refresh button on this, on this browser window. And then autofill the BU, well, I'm gonna type in 25, cause I know I've got, I'm sure I've still got 25 BUSD, haven't I? Yep. Maybe the pig amount that was autofilled was wrong. Insufficient balance. Ah, all right. So let's see what happens if I change this to 24. Hmm. 23. 22. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm going to refresh this. Hmm. Try again. Ah, oh, hang on, my wallet has become disconnected because I hit refresh. Right, that was a little bit confusing. So this should work now that I've connected the wallet. That was very strange. See, I've got my pig's balance back. Let's try it. Twenty-five. Add liquidity. Oh, okay, I'm just going to pause this a moment. Okay, I'm back. I've been doing a bit of Googling. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't found anything conclusive about this. So I'm just going to have a cough. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that. Right, so maybe if I just change this to 24, let's see what happens. Maybe I didn't have enough pigs. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so pleased that it's me going through this and not um, any of you when this is your first time trying this let's try with less obviously by reducing that to 24 it's reduced the the amount of pigs that i need oh this looks good insufficient funds now that's not true i don't think i do have sufficient but the estimated gas fee for the, for the animal farm can be can be high and it's not really what what it's going to cost me in gas i'm going to move some more bnb across i'll be right back okay i'm back i've, I've moved some bnb and hopefully it's arrived let's see i've moved point naught naught one i think so wait to see if this increases when the transfer is completed there we go We'll try this again now. Add liquidity. This should have been a very straightforward process, but these are the kind of obstacles that you can encounter, and it can be it can be so frustrating, and it can be really off-putting for people. They can just give up, unfortunately. This looks like it might work. So no confirmation message and. 
nothing's changed. I'll hit refresh and I'll remember to connect the wallet. There we go. Aha, so I now have a pig's BUSD LP balance. Don't ask me how the heck that is calculated, but I've got two point over 2.9 LP tokens now. We're almost there, guys. The final part of this, in fact, I'm going to go back to my slides. So we talked about the bonus and creating the adding this blah, 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 blah. Right, buy some pigs. Create some AFP BUSD LP tokens. Done. Check. Create a time locked stake is the next step. Find the right Firefox window. So now we go to piggy bank. Finally, we're off to the piggy bank. And you can see there's my 2.95 LP tokens, which I can now use to buy piglets. What are piglets? I don't know. Fragments of an LP token, I guess. Um, I'm not going to be able to give you all the, the finer details of exactly how piggy bank works. I just wanted to show you this this process and why I believe everyone should make a $50 piggy bank stake and time lock it. You don't have to lock it for three years. Look at the 52 weeks what the bonus is. It's almost 4,000%. I'm just going to put this into the calculator to show you. So I've got 2.9 LP tokens. So 2.9 plus that much percent. That means in three years time, I should have over 113 LP tokens. What's an LP token worth at the moment? Um, well, we can work it out because it's, it's probably about $17. I started with $50 equivalent and I've ended up with 2.9 LP tokens yeah 17 so um, I'll just do this one again for you 2.9 plus that much percent 113 and then we'll times that by 17 so even that one year time lock if the value of pig stays where it is and it so if the value of the lp token stays approximately where it is we could be looking at a 50 dollar stake becoming worth nearly two thousand dollars that's a heck of a return isn't it and that's not factoring in the daily compounding of the three percent reward each day We're talking significant ROI here. Um, so I've, did I create? No, I haven't created the stake yet. So I was just showing you what happens with a, a time lock bonus of one year. I'm going to, I'm going to do this for, I've already got a couple for three years. So why don't I do one for, for two years? That's a whopping bonus. It's over 50,000 almost 50,000%. Um, I recommend that you do a few of these. You don't have to do $50 each time. You could do much smaller stakes and for a long period of time, let's say minimum a year, you could do, um, you could even create one to end every six months. So I'm going to create this one for two years. And there's no max button here. I have to literally copy that and paste it. How strange. Put that into there. Uh, oh, I have to approve this first. Another gas for you. I hope I've got enough money for gas. Okay. Yes. No. What? What happened there? I 
prove it again. Three cents of gas. So the buy piglets button is now lit. I'm sure that lit up before. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so I'm going to buy these piglets and this is going to create a time locked stake for two years. Uh, that wording there is very strange. I don't know why it doesn't just say OK. No way! Insufficient funds, man! Oh, no. All right, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to go and get myself some more BNB. I'm back. Uh, this is good experience, I guess, for, for me and you that I keep running out of money for gas. So be sure to allow yourself a few dollars worth of gas for this process. Otherwise, it's going to be very frustrating for you. And what I did was I sent myself 5 BUSD. So if that has arrived, I'm going to then convert it to... Oh, I still had one BUSD left. I could have swapped that to BNB. Not to worry. Hopefully this is going to increase to 6 any moment now. Because I just sent 5 from my other account. Better pause this. I'm back. I had forgotten to fit, hit the final submit button on the, the transfer previously. So let's see if it's worked now. BUSD. There we go. 6 BUSD. Right, I'm going to swap this to BNB. All of it. And that should mean I've got plenty gas. Plenty of BNB for gas fees. I didn't even look at what the numbers, the conversion rate was there. It doesn't matter. I just want this done. Now that reminds me, what you should do is make a note of what you what you do when you create your piggy bank stake. Take note of this number here, um, and remember to write down like any other pertinent information today how much you actually invested in dollars um, how long you've time locked for although that will always be evident to you when you look at your animal farm when you look at your piggy bank it will show you how much is remaining on the time lock I'm going to go and create this now by piglets acknowledge acknowledge it's such strange wording for that button it should just say um I think it should just say OK. This is looking good, folks. I don't know if we get any kind of confirmation here. I can't believe this video is almost 30 minutes long. I do apologize. Maybe this will be a um, like a a pilot version and I'll do another version before too long before I forget all the steps that are involved um, before I forget how much gas fees are involved so I'm going to refresh this now because I haven't received any kind of confirmation message scroll down and you see this bit here my piggy banks I have to connect the wallet every time I refresh now down here is there we go. It takes a few seconds to load. You can see my newly created stake. It has 727 days left and almost 24 hours. And the max payout there, that is in truffles. I'm pretty sure that is truffles. Now it's hard to to convert truffles into a dollar amount but it does calculate it for you here which is handy um, but the max payout is not calculated in dollars for you so what you can do is go to this website drip.formulate.finance 
Uh -huh. I'm going to restart Firefox apparently. I don't want this to be my default browser. What I should have mentioned earlier is the reason I do all of this in Firefox is because I don't do any other web surfing when I'm using, um, when I'm doing Animal Farm or Drip stuff or any MetaMask related tasks. So I don't have any concerns about websites hijacking my MetaMask. And if they did, they'll only get access to this one instance of it. They wouldn't get access to my other um, MetaMask accounts. That's why I use these separate profiles. It does make the process a bit more, sort of feel a bit more long-winded. You've got to keep switching between different profiles to access your different fi uh, MetaMask accounts. But that peace of mind that if someone was able to hack one of my MetaMask accounts, it, that they can't then infiltrate all of them is fantastic. I've lost the plot. I forgot what I was saying now. Right, let's see where we were back to Animal Farm. Oh yeah, drip.formulate.finance. Uh, you do have to pay for this. It's like a one-off uh, lifetime license. And I think it's about, works out to about $15 and you can if you're into drip garden or drip you can switch between them and it gives just gives you loads of really useful info about your investments so you you do have to connect your wallet but don't worry it's perfectly safe because you're not giving it any permission to do anything it's just reading data from the blockchain publicly available information it this can't um be exploited to manipulate your MetaMask account. Okay, all it can do is read the data. So you make a donation to this address, which means um, you just do it through MetaMask. Just do a, a send. I could, if let's say I had the BUSD, I just put that address in. I could send five BUSD. Um, now it's not 5B USD if you want access to everything see piggy bank I think is a larger donation oh I wonder if he's changed it so the guy who created this is James Devstreak and I believe he is now working as part of the development team for Mr. Forex Shark so the guy who created this is an awesome guy, awesome developer, um, very trustworthy guy, and very, very heavily involved in the drip community. So you can trust this, and this will. So this will. Sh I can't show you because it's not connected to my. I've paid the the five dollars or fifteen dollars, whatever it was, so that I can access all of the information for my main wallet. Because this is a brand new wallet, I don't have the the access here. Um, but it will show me. Oh, hang on, of course I can switch to my. Um, I can show you. Uh, drip. Dot formulate. Dot finance is the address, and this should go to piggy bank. Hmm. I'm just going to pause this video. I'm back. Okay, so I think what, what I've misunderstood is that I do have to paste my wallet address in here. You would have to do the same. So, um, And this is all you have to do to connect this. See, I didn't have to grant it any permissions there or anything. And it shows me that uh, my piggy bank stakes... Where's my max payout? Uh, 
Oh, there it is. $2,770. That's from, I've got eight stakes, I think. So that's the total of all of my stakes. And it shows me each stake in detail. Now, this functionality might be coming to Piggy Bank eventually if James is working with Forex Shark. I don't know. I couldn't tell you for sure what's going to happen. Obviously, I don't know. Um, so I do recommend that you, if you're going to go into Piggy Bank with an investment, that you might want to also set yourself up with um, a license for this drip.formulate.finance. And so let's have a look. Here's here's one of my stakes that's got a time lock still on it until May the 8th. 2025 and the max pay up for that one I can't remember how much I put in with that one that may have been a $50 one I think so the max payout nothing really exciting yet but the way the bonus is applied 70% of the bonus is applied to your investment over the first hang on 30% of your bonus is applied over the first 70 percent of the duration of the investment the time of the time lock sorry and the remaining 70 percent of the bonus is applied during the remaining 30 percent of the time lock so most of the bonus is applied at the end rather than the beginning and it's compoundable too so when it gets applied to your stake as long as you're compounding regularly you get to compound the bonus as well which is crazy and I don't even think we can calculate that or factor that into any future calculations I don't know um, but these $50 stakes that I've created I think who knows what's going to happen with the price of the pigs token I think we're going to be choosing a yacht in the next couple of years well in the next three years so I'll see you at the Yacht Showroom. Okay. I think I've covered everything that I wanted to. I'll go back to my slides. Let's see. Create a time lock stake. You have to compound daily to unlock the bonus rewards. Now this is really important. So back to... Uh, where's the animal farm gone? So back to the piggy bank. Oh, this is my my main account. So I've got a whole bunch of stakes here. These are all all ready to be compounded. You can only compound once in 24 hours. And I can do all of these. You can compound them all at once or you can pick pick manually because you may not want to compound the ones whose time locks have expired. You can just you can go sell and that will sell the truffles so you'll receive LP tokens back into your MetaMask wallet. You can then split those tokens and you'll get back AFP and BUSD tokens. BUSD, do whatever you want with AFP. Um, I would recommend you put it into the pig pen where it will earn BUSD. I'll just show you that. I've got 8.31 pigs in the pig pen and I've currently got claimable I mean it's only two dollars seventy five claimable but that is going to increase as I increase the number of pigs that I have in here I get more pigs as my piggy bank stakes pay out I'll go over any of this with anybody who wants to know it I feel like I've got a really good grasp on it now took a while I can tell you there's a lot to this it's a great system I really love it and I and I hope that I've inspired you to to get into it um, if you could do me a favor if you've found this beneficial if you could use my referral link I would really appreciate it I will include it in the description under the video now I do think that's it for me but let's go back to the slides and double check oh yeah fine the final thing to do is to sell your truffles and split the LPs Put the AFP part of your LPs into the pig's pen where they will earn BUSD. And it's just free money from there on. Keep producing LP tokens in the piggy bank. 
withdraw them, split them, put the pig part into the pig's pen, earn BUSD. You don't have to split anything there. You just receive BUSD rewards. Imagine if you could be earning $100 a day in BUSD rewards. That would be so... Well, that's that. I think that would be a life-changing amount of money, wouldn't it? Hundred dollars a day, just, just there for you to move into your bank account. Imagine, amazing. I'm sure it's all possible, and I think you could even do it with a small, under fifty dollar investment in piggy bank to start with, to get the ball rolling. I think great things are around the corner for this. Now is the time, while the price of pigs is low. Now is the time to get started. Um, I'm not going to re repeat myself. I've done. I've repeated myself enough. I think you'll understand that I'm very passionate about this. I'm convinced that this is the way to um, financial freedom, along with drip. I have very high hopes for this, and I'll see you at the yacht exhibition. I hope. Thanks for watching. Forty-one minutes. Are you kidding? Whew. All right, thanks. And if you could, if you have enjoyed this, please hit the like button. And if you would subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Over and out. Hey, I'm back again. I just remembered something very important. Your initial stake, your deposit, um, your capital can't be withdrawn from piggy bank. Only the daily rewards and the time lock bonus can be withdrawn. Very important that, you, that you're aware of this. Uh, not so much of a big deal with a $50 stake that hopefully in three years time is going to pay you a massive amount every day. So you'll soon forget about that original $50. But if you were tempted, if you were tempted to put a larger stake in, I wouldn't blame you. I'm not saying you should, but I wouldn't blame you if you were tempted. Um, just bear in mind that you can't withdraw that ever. The time lock is not about withdrawing the stake. The time lock is simply about what you can do during that time lock period. All you can do during the time lock is compound. You can't sell any of your rewards. So the rewards will build up and you can compound them. They'll continue to build up each day. You can't sell them. Your only option is compound for the duration of the time lock. When the time lock expires, you can continue to compound and you can sell the daily rewards. You can let them build up. You can sell them once a week, once a month. You can do a mixture of compounding and selling. Just like with drip, you can continue to hydrate and withdraw and claim. Um, it's very important that you understand that that initial deposit is locked forever time lock has nothing to do with that also something that i probably should have mentioned much sooner is um i've forgotten it's to do with the time lock time locking hang on let's pause this while i remember okay i think i've remembered what it was and it's a, i'm going to struggle to explain this but the the daily reward from piggy bank should be in the region of um three percent i believe I'm just going to put that over there that was a bit disconcerting um it should be in the region of three percent a day but you have to continue to compound to keep that daily interest rate if you if all you do is claim 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 once the time lock has expired i'm talking about if all you do is claim 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 every day that's fine you you're entitled to do that but your daily um, reward will diminish over time. Oh, I know what it was. It was um, max payout. The max payout for piggy bank is three times your deposited amount. Now, in the example I've done today, $50, that would make my max payout initially $150. But then you add the time lock bonus which as you saw is just phenomenal. And then of course, every time you compound, you increase your deposited amount. So you therefore increase your max payout. Uh, if you're not sure about that, if you want to ask me anything about it or do your own research, always please 
Um, but reach out to me on Telegram if you've got questions and just go into this with your eyes open. It's, I think it's phenomenal, but there are things you have to be aware of. Initial deposit is not withdrawable and there is a max payout, but that should not be an issue in the future. Um, your max payout will be will be tremendously large, I think. I'm going to shut up now. Okay, thanks for, again for watching all the way. Probably about 45 minutes now. Over and out. <laughs>